Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Monday, November 9th, and today we celebrate the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica. I saw the Holy City, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. I saw water flowing from the temple's right hand side, and all to whom this water came shall live and shall say, Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind those times in which we have <coughs> sinned. <coughs> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh, 
wherever the river flows. Every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river, the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets glad in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. <clears throat> the second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building, According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, <clears throat> and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doubles, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple and in three days, I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? 
But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Jesus is visibly and understandably so upset that these men have come into his father's house and turned it into a marketplace to sell stuff, to change coins, and to whatever else was going on. And my friends, that would be the same thing, the same reaction you would have if you walked in here one day and all of a sudden this was a marketplace filled with vendors selling stuff while Jesus is at home in his tabernacle. It's not proper, it's not right, and that's why Jesus is so upset, because you know, you and I would be upset also if we came here to find this. This is a sacred place. Our church, our temple, whatever you want to call it, is a very sacred space, and it has to be respected that way. But my friends, not just a building is a sacred place, but so are our bodies, because God created and built our bodies and our mind and our soul. And where we come into a problem, it's not with turning the church into a marketplace, but sometimes we turn our own body and our own souls into a marketplace, if you would so incline me, by shoving God out of every corner that we can. And as we shove God out of each corner of our soul or of our body, we get further and further away from him. And we become just like that marketplace in that temple. My friends, we have to keep God within us. We cannot lose our faith. We cannot lose our love for God. We cannot lose the joy that we had with God present in our lives. It doesn't work that way. And if you remember back to uh, yesterday's reading, we always have to be prepared. And when we chase God from every corner of our life and from every corner of our body, we are not preparing ourselves because we never know the hour or the day when he will come. So my friends, no matter what's going on in our lives or in our world around us, which we know is crazy, we have to embrace God and allow him to remain inside us and allow him to work his wonderful deeds within us. And that is what gets us through those most difficult times. Today we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. And just a few words about that. The Basilica is uh, in Rome, not in Vatican City. It is outside the walls of the Vatican. It is the oldest basilica in the Western world. It is also the oldest church in Rome. It houses the uh, Cathedra of the uh, Bishop of Rome, and we all should know who the Bishop of Rome is. It is wonderful uh, Pope Francis right now. So that's just a little bit about the uh, about the, the Lateran Basilica. There's a ton of information about it. You could look it up online if you don't know it. It'd be too much for me to, to talk about here. But it also does hold the distinction, and the only one in the world, it's, it has a distinction of being an arch Basilica, and it is the only one um, that exists in the world today. Let us stand now and offer our prayers this day. For Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and for all the bishops scattered throughout the world, that they may continue to do the good works that God has sent them here to do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a respect of all life from conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the men and women who served their country and are currently serving their country in uh, in the military and as uh, police and as fire and EMTs and and every other aspect that they serve this great nation, uh, that they continue to be safe and, and God brings them home safely every night. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering this day, that they may feel the healing touch of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate, and to the religious life, that they hear God's call and answer him wisely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, 
that they may see God face to face and enjoy their eternal rewards in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pause to add the intentions in which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this day and grant them at your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fear of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant thy, that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place and power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created. Rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, 
He himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and today we remember David John Gorka, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. 
and peace to everyone viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, Lord, and my soul shall be healed. Be built up like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. God is light, in him there is no darkness. Let us walk in his light, his children one and all. O oh, comfort my people, make gentle your words. Proclaim to my city the day of her birth. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing For the Lord, our light and our love Has turned the night into day For those at home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to just say thank you to everybody who came out to the Grove Mass yesterday, the drive-in mass. We had a great turnout. We had almost 50 cars out there yesterday for the, for the drive-in mass. So it was a wonderful afternoon, and the weather couldn't have been more perfect for November. Um, just a reminder also that uh, next weekend, next Saturday and Sunday from noon to 4, they will have a uh, food sale, a food festival sale down at the Grove. It's all most of the favorite foods that you enjoy at the uh, festival in the summer, which we did not have this year because of the pandemic. So if you're hungry for those foods, it's most likely the last chance you're going to get to taste them this year. Um, and I'm looking forward to the potato pancakes, uh, obviously. I didn't get this way from not eating them, that's for sure. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Stay safe, continue to social distance, uh, continue to wear your masks. And on that subject, uh, this is just a friendly reminder that when you're in this building, you have to wear a mask from the time you enter until the time you leave. And we greatly appreciate it.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Jerusalem, my happy home, when shall I come to thee? When shall my sorrows have an end? My joys, when shall I see? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, God grant that I may see your endless joy and of the same partaker ever be. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning. We'll be back tomorrow morning for daily Mass as well. Take care. Have a wonderful day. God bless.